This is part four of our guided project on extracting nighttime light statistics. In the previous script, we learned how to take a nighttime lights image for one year and compute the statistics for both urban and agriculture class. Now, we want to do this for the entire time series of nighttime lights. So to do this, we need to wrap all the computation we did in a function, and then we can map this on a collection. Let's start simple. We'll say, I have a collection. We just want to compute the total sum of lights for each year. We'll, in the next one, we'll do it by class. So here, the code uh, starts with all the collections, and we filter a nighttime lights collection for the date range that we want. So we start, uh, we want to have a time series statistics from 2013 to 2021. We have one image per year, and when we filter it, we get our filter collection containing all the nine images. And we want to now run the stats on each of these images. From the previous script, we already know how to run uh, and extract the statistics from one image. So we simply do that inside of a function. So let's write a function. We'll write a function called calculate sum of lights. This function will take an image and can compute the stats on that. Uh, from the previous code, this is the code for computing nighttime light statistics for one image. You take the image, run the reduce region function, and we extract the result in a variable. So now we have the sum of lights for one year. And we can map this function on an image collection, and this function will run for each image. When you map a function on an image, you must either return an image or a feature. In our case, we have just a number. So returning an image doesn't make sense. So we'll return a feature. So how do we create a feature? Well. A feature is a collection of a geometry and some properties. So we don't really care about the geometry and we can use the geometry of the state if you really want to, but we'll just say null. So we don't want any geometry. Property, it's just a dictionary of key value pairs. So we'll just say sum of light is as well. Okay. <coughs> and also uh, we want to be able to identify which uh, date this all came from. So we'll just use our timestamp in earth engine timestamps are stored in the special property called system colon time start we'll just take our image uh, and get its timestamp so we'll assign the timestamp of that feature as the same as the image that we extracted it from and we'll just return that so now we have this function that takes an image and returns a feature uh, for that uh, particular image. Uh, let's map this on our uh, collection. So we have the collection NTL filtered. We can say dot map and map this function. That's it, this will run uh, this function in parallel for each image contained in the collection. We'll just save the result in a variable called NTL time series. Okay, let's print it and see what we get. And you can see we get a feature collection with nine features. You can see each feature has two values, the uh, timestamp and the value of that sum of light for that year. Right? So we were able to extract the stats for each image contained in the image collection. Let's create a chart so we can kind of visualize this. Since we have a feature collection, we'll use the ui.chart feature and we can just do by feature. Okay? Control space to autocomplete. And we'll say plot the features from NTL time series variable. The X property on the X axis, we'll just do our timestamp. And on the Y column, we'll plot uh, SOL. Okay? And we can just print the chart. And this shows us the uh, chart, the change of sum of lights over time. Uh, we can also change the type of the chart uh, using the set chart type property. Let's just get a nice bar chart. And finally, we can also set some options to make our chart a little more um, readable. So we just set the values of uh, the title and label all our access and so on. 
if you're interested in learning more about how the charting functions work and how the options work, uh, I have an entire course on creating charts using Earth Engine. Do look at that in my open course where website and you'll be able to learn all the details of the different charting functions. Right, so we've created a chart where we now see the changes in nighttime lights uh, intensity over California over multiple years. In the next script, we'll see how to do the same, but for each class.